Let's learn in this video how we can create a new container apps using YAML configuration files. We know that we can create a new container app either using the Azure portal, the easiest option, using the Azure CLI, or using Terraform templates. Today, we'll see how we can do that using the YAML configuration files, where we'll go to create a YAML file with all the configuration for the container app, including the configuration for the ingress, for the image, for the probes. Then we can save that YAML file into the Git repository, and then we can deploy it into our container apps environment. Let's see how that works. When we deploy a new container app using the Azure command line CLI, we have here multiple options within the AZ container app create command. So we can specify the Dapper configuration, we can specify the ingress configuration, the Docker image we want to deploy, the probes, and many more. And now with this new deployment model that is deploying using a YAML file, we can have the same configuration, but save it into a YAML file that will be saved into the Git repository, where here we find configuration like for deploying the container, the target port for the container, the ingress resource, the configuration. So instead of using a giant command line, we'll be able to just use az container app create the name of the container app, the resource group, and then specifying the rest of the configuration into a YAML file. So this is useful for teams that are collaborating to create the container apps for the developer team, for example. So each time they want to create or to change the configuration of the container app because the file is saved into a Git repository, they will collaborate through pull requests and they will approve those uh, changes. And here, people who have already worked with Kubernetes and they have created YAML manifest within Kubernetes, they might see that as a little bit similar to deploying YAML into a Kubernetes a cluster, where here we have the same, almost the same concept within Kubernetes a YAML manifest, where we have the deployment object, where we can specify the Docker image we want to deploy, the exposed port number, the number of the replica, the labels and selectors, so here we are taking a similar approach to that YAML manifest. And if we take a look at the Terraform configuration, then it will also be similar to the Terraform uh, templates, where here within Terraform, when we create a new container app, we'll specify again the template that will contain the containers, the revision mode, the ingress configuration, and so on. So here we have three similar options, actually. And of course, within container apps, either you choose this YAML manifest right here, or you choose the Terraform configuration. In this example here, I showed just some few, some few options available within the YAML file. Actually, there are lots, lots, lots of uh, options available in YAML. Even in this slide, I don't have all the options uh, uh, displayed here. Some of them are uh, hidden. Uh, so you can do a lot with the YAML config. You can put all of the configuration within YAML. Here you can see, for example, the configuration for the uh, probes, the secrets, mounting the volumes, configuring the uh, ingress, the revisions, and many more. Let's now see an example, a demonstration on how this works.